Let's go see what Ignazio's doing. Ignazio, what you doing? Cleaning the weeds up out of here? Yeah, man. Ignazio's one of the hardest working guys here at the dealership, aren't you? He is. Now he speaks a little bit of English, mostly Spanish though. <laughs> Say something to the fans on YouTube. Yeah, man. That's good. Good. That's right. Exactly. He works hard though. He gets all this stuff cleaned up out here. Ignacio, how many years you been at, at Marchant? Twelve. Twelve years. Yeah, yeah. Twelve years. He lives right behind the dealership back here with his family. And let me tell you folks, uh, Miss Sonia was a very good lady to you, wasn't she? Yeah, we uh, rest in peace, Miss Sonia Marchant. She's up above in heaven with the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah. Amen. Yep, yeah, cool. Thank you so much, Ignazio. Ignazio is one of those guys, you know, I mean, I've known him since I've been out here since 2011. Every single time I see him, he walks up, says hello to me, he smiles, he gives me a handshake or waves. Such a nice guy. You know, even though he can't speak hardly any English, he, uh, you understand that he's happy and... Um, He's just a hard worker, man. I give it to him for that. Um, again, uh, he, Miss Miss Sonia, just she's a great lady. She passed away um, this past year in December, and uh, we do love Miss Sonia. She was a great woman. Um, there's been, been many a times in my life where I was in a bind or needed some help or just to make some extra cash or whatever, and I come up here and talk to her in her office, the owner, and uh, and she would help help me out and uh, and just do anything possible. She a uh, great lady, so um, I do thank her for that. Her son's a great man. His name is Rob Marchant, and uh, Rob, Rob's the same way. I mean, a great guy, very understanding, and um, you know, again, if you got things going on in your life, you can talk to him. I mean, he's a good Christian man, and he loves the Lord. He's got a great family, and uh, you know, it's great to see the legacy keep going on, okay? And that's, that's what it's all about working for family owned and operated businesses okay you know there's a lot of these car dealerships out here that are you know corporate ran uh, you know like, like in Jacksonville Florida we, you know one time I lost my job down there you know we were in a bind there was this huge corporation I think Fields Automotive Group something like that and uh, you know if you wanted to get in front of somebody you know I mean I could get a car salesman job at any dealership you know just walk in and apply or whatever because I you know I have that background and all that but you know to get a job like what I do now social media video marketing you know selling cars through videos and all of that you know to get a job like that it, it's a little tougher you got to get in with some of the hierarchies of the business well these corporate companies like Hendrick and Fields and all this and Auto Nation and all that it's gonna be a little tougher for a guy like me to get in and get kind of in the groove with their company just to even get an interview and um, so that's why I, I enjoy working for companies and families like Stokes and like Marchant that are family owned and operated and uh, they're, they're just it's, that's just the way it should be and uh, anyways but you know corporate America is corporate America and uh, some of y'all may work for corporate companies we all have done it in the past but it's just something about family owned and operated that really stands out a little bit more so uh, anyways have a great day everybody thanks for watching on YouTube and uh, let's give uh, Ignacio a thumbs up for the hard work he's done out here doing the the stuff that some people just don't even want to do okay give him a thumbs up man I mean 11 12 years of doing it now out here and he keeps dragging on and doing what he's got to do for his family see you soon everybody thanks for watching I'm Chad signing out